Frank. Chris Gilfus on the Harley Davidson 31C. And the 59E Rob Reed, uh, the Team Reed Racing Progressive Suspension entry. And Donnie Hart on the 56C. Donnie did not answer the call for time trials, and so he needs to do well. He crashed in the heat. want to be in the top three to make sure you get a good start in the semi. Wayne Warrington to the back row. Chris Gilfus from the middle of the front row comes up with the lead in front of Donnie Hart. Makes a move up on the inside. It gives a whack at the Gilfus and takes the lead. Dean Coco trying to move up as well. Gilfus lights up the rear tire of that Harley Davidson and almost got in the grandstand. trying to take the third place position and does as Coca gets wide. White flag of flying, Donnie Hart with the lead. And a move off into the semis. Sanchez now looking like he wants to get around, goes to the top of the racetrack and almost makes the pass. Ay, 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 good job, Sanchez. Gilfus holds him off by inches, but T.W. Sanchez had showing that the racetrack is widening for sure as he tried to get out on the outside of Chris Gilfus. And those boys will be off to the semis. One per. laps and you want to be at least in the top two spots 
or if you're in the third fastest of the three semis, third will also make the transfer. Still got Donnie Hart coming. Waiting for Donnie Hart, the 56th, the transfer from the last chance qualifier. Presto Changeo. Nice job by Bob McDonald at the bottom of the racetrack. Rob Dabron with Noyes in third. Sanchez. Noyes climbing down on the bottom of the racetrack. Pushes Dabron a little on the wide side. Sanchez moves up. Bar banging, much bar banging going on between the 19 of Noyes. And black plate number one. Dameron is standing. He's had some, uh, lots of banging going on over the years. A 10-time black plate number one rider. He needs one more position at the fastest time to ensure that he'll be 
over Bo Brown. the 97Y of Danny Ritchie out of Paso Robles. Another member of the Brown Gang, A&K Road Service Buffalo Pates, Plates, Danny Ritchie, 97Y. Next to him, the number 49, the 350 Kawasaki, Rod Spencer, the 41-year-old rider, number 49. He'd be joined by Jason Paoli, the 10G, the defending champion, our emoolah.com, Gene Romero West Coast Flat Track Series, Ronnie Brown. The 11W of Clay Chambers. Number 79, Jer Chisholm on his Yamaha 400 four stroke, sponsored by Turbo Blue Racing Fuel, CD Smith DC 10 LP East. A main for Novice 250 Modified Production. You're next. takes the lead.
part of who makes the transfer is going to be the time. The time was a 130 20, 130.20. Out of Salinas on the West Coast commercial. Once again, Russo, the Cycle News Dirt Track editor, out with the lead. Stedman, Ronnie Hitton in second. Jimmy Abrams, top of the racetrack, trying to make things happen with Frankie Eubanks. Russo holds on over Hitton. Continuing to do the leading, trying to get the lap riders out of the way. Hitting in second, top of the racetrack. Jimmy Abrams now up into third place. Over Frankie Eubanks. Trying to close up, but getting the rear end all swapped around. That don't do you any good. Scott Watkins on the 99 machine. Oh, we get one down in the first turn. Watkins makes it by the number five machine. I'm gonna get that motorcycle. Joe Brown's number 34 machine, the culprit in the corner. White flag out, Scott Russo. Ronnie Hitton. Did he get a chance to close up at the end? Has he come out? No. Russo with the win by about a bike length and a half over Ronnie Hitton. With Jimmy Abrams in third place. So Scott Russo gets the old the lap of honor. I don't know whether we get a lap of honor out of that or not. We wanted to come back here and have an interview. Send them guys back over here. Top three guys. I don't, you know, I, it, we, we did the one thing, well, whatever, whoever shows up. We get, Jimmy Abrams came out late when we did his first win when we were doing Hanford. Maybe we get somebody to yell and get, Jimmy Abrams back on this thing. So it's a couple of YZ250s that are out in the front side of it. Scott Russo, who will load up here and uh, get the motorcycle to somebody else and jump on an airplane and go to South California and get on an airplane to back to Indianapolis. But uh, Ron Hinden, uh, you get a good job in the heat race. It looks like Scott got you on the start. Yeah, that was basically it. You know, Scott was riding really well and. Um, I didn't have anything for him, made too many mistakes, but uh, you know, live and learn. You were coming out of the turn four over here and that rear end was going the opposite direction it should be. Yeah, I might have got a little carried away with the throttle, but you know, it you happened. You have front on the brown cycle Yamaha though. Oh yeah, I love it. I love coming to these things. Uh, this class is great for getting new riders into the sport and uh, it's a really good thing what Gene did here. All right, good job, second place. How about it for Ronnie Hinton, folks? Scott Russo, it's going to be the old quick change routine. Uh, second win on the Emula West first Coast flat winner. track race. First repeat winner of the series yeah. so far in five races that were going on here. At, uh, Hinton had you in the heat race, but you had him for the, the start of the main. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, Ronnie just started coming out lately, and and I, I, I don't know. I, it's okay to admit it, I guess. If there's one guy out here who scares me to death, it's him, because I know how fast he can go. And and uh, we fitted a new rear tire just before we came out here, and that, that kind of had me a little nervous too, but, but I think we made the right call doing that, and it really helped us to get off the corners tonight and win this thing. Well, that was what it was all about when you get into bull ring sometime. The black curve is getting bigger and wider, so it'll make for better main events, I think, as they go along, but you have fun in Indianapolis, and uh, I'll see what I can type up and send you here in the new cycle news story. I don't have any worries. You always do a good job, Bill. Thank all you. All right. Thanks, Scott Russo. How about it for these guys, first and second? I don't know what happened to Jimmy, but... Congratulations to Jimmy Abrams for finishing in third place. And 
We'll see what Scott has to say when he gets back from Indianapolis in the Amateur National Championships. Do we have a B main? No, I mean a vintage B? No. Everybody transferred? Yeah. Okay, now wait a minute. We got some stuff we got to post here. So there won't be an open vintage B. Everybody made the transfers that we're supposed to. In the vintage in the vintage B. There's gonna be a vintage B. That's what I thought. Yeah, there's gonna be a vintage B. So it should be now. Vintage B main, it should be now. Right, vintage B is now. Alright, it's vintage B main is what we are going to have a vintage B main. It's not a lot of riders, but there's a, a vintage B main and that's what we need to have up. You can have vintage B main transfers. You can have that. Yes I can. Gilfus on the ex Chucky Gondola Yamaha. How many transfers? Chucky Gondola, and it's Gary Ritchie on the Brown Cycle. Left in third place over Wayne Worrington. took third, he can come back. about 20 we got the question just asked I think it was 27 years ago that we closed the old Vallejo Speedway is there anybody here besides Riddle and some of the old old guys the Brown family remember going to Vallejo Speedway just up the street 27 years ago well, hi you guys that's nice to see that there's still people around that remember no I don't think so Rick yeah you were I guess you could have been yeah 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 73 you're old enough. You were right. The Lacey was old enough. Yep, he was. It is the B main. Top four riders transferred to the end of the A main.
Robert C. Camera on top of the racetrack in turn three takes a position away from Yarrow. Yarrow drifts back to third place. Cameron finding the groove, working on the top of the racetrack. Here comes Spencer. Brad Spencer at the same position. you got to move your bike up because the Black River comes in. Brad looks over his shoulder. He's got a 15 bike length lead as they come around. Brad Spencer side by side, elbow to elbow with Yarrow. Yarrow still holding him off. Spencer gets a little wide. Paoli tries to get up on the inside. Robert C. along with Matt Proto get together in the corner. Robert C. got sideways and Matt Proto got into him. Robert C. on the 83Y got sideways going in the corner and got collected by Matt Proto. How many laps? It went to the lap prior. You were at nine. How many laps was this feature? It was ten. It was a ten. It's race. Can we go back to my nine? Yeah. Woo! Cunnington and Jeff Johnson at the top. a happy guy in victory circle, Merle Barnett on the 97 machine. Get that helmet off, bro. Merle Barnett, uh, former very, very good mini bike racer. Uh, back in the middle 70s with his buddy Steve Hill. Went on to ride the half miles at San Jose. Uh, Merle, back in those days, Chris Carr was still riding his little Pee Wee 50, one of those few guys and all that stuff. And you remember having a lot of fun with the uh, the racing scene. You were out of it for, for a couple of years, but since Gene Romero's put this series together, you're having as much fun as you did then. Yeah, Gene! Yeah! Uh, feels good! 
I'm happy with third. Third place is all right, but I guess uh, you got to worry about Brad over here. Brad was on his old BSA here, was running pretty good. Yeah, we went right around me. Uh, someone's got to go around me, and he went around me to pass me. He deserves it, so uh, I come take my hat off of this BSA. All right, Merle, third place. Congratulations. How about a hand for Merle Barnett? Brad, uh, the BSA comes in handy once in a while, I guess. Yeah, she was really working well tonight. They put that thing into together for a second place finish tonight. Uh, the other part about this is going on into the A feature. Did you make the A? Yes, I did. So you're going to have to go back and get ready for racing here pretty quick, too. You got it. All right. Good job, second place. How about a hand for Brad Spencer? I guess the other side of this coin is this is the second repeat winner of the year. Not only does he have to go back to run into the A open main, but you're on pole, Jeff Johnson. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll take that. You were second here off the line here, but had a great start from that and an eight-day wire-to-wire finish in the championship. Everything looking good again this season. Yeah, Brad, my hat's off to Brad. He's running the wheels off of that old machine there. And uh, I could hear him back there, but I didn't take a look over my shoulder. I just wanted to race my race and uh, finish and get, get ready for that main event. I want to thank all you people for coming out tonight, supporting us. Without you, the show wouldn't be what it is tonight. Thank you. All right, good job. Let's get back to the racing seat for that. How about a hand for all three of these guys? Jeff Johnson to win, Brad Spencer in second place, and Merle Barnett in third. And that brings us up to the feature <laughs> on pole, Jeff Johnson. One V on the pole. Jeff Johnson on the hand V race. He can stay right where he is, hand V race. I got water for him if he wants. Fontana Radiator, Yakadakadak. We just did all his sponsors. Second off, 53Y will be Steve Johnson. The Motion Pro Pride, e fan Banky Performance Pro Carb, Ghost Mountain Motorcycle Riders, Tracy Martin, Brown Cycle, Billy Fagundas tuned. Wood Rotax, number 53Y, Steve Johnson. 51Z, the 21-year-old, just turned 21, Sean Raggio out of Stockton. On the engines only, Burton Cycle, Mom and Dad, CCM Rotax. 51Z. Number 74, a winner out of the past, 22-year-old Billy Martin out of the Sacramento on the BFA, Mom and Dad, Wood Rotax. Next up, the number 54 machine, Dana Perry. Dana and brother Mitch and his dad are here. I haven't seen the three of them together in quite a while since the old Lodi days. Dana Perry, right of the number 54 machine, the Mike Vale Enterprise flat track fabrication performance cycle in industry, number 54. 79, that's Jim Foley. Well, 79Y was Jim Foley. This will be Jeremy Chisholm the eldest son of Jim Chisholm on the Turbo Blue C.D. Smith DC-10 Hard Racing Dirt Jidgets. Number 790, Yamaha four-stroke. Having won a dash for cash, but having to work extra hard, the 19E of Kenny Noyes. On the Lion River Olean's Arai Alpenstarns entry. Black plate number one. Rob Dabron and Ronnie Brown out of the B main. Sixty-eight E Paul Herbin on the pick racing brown cycle entry. Last two from the B, Casey Yarrow, and the 7M of Brad Spencer.
Lena Perry at the top of the racetrack. Jared Chisholm at the bottom. Johnson took the second off the pole. With Raggio, Martin, and the pole sitter, Johnson, went up from the inside. Ronnie Brown, Paul Herman, first two in the second row from the bottom, top of the race back to McDonald. by Billy Martin and Jeff Johnson. Bob McDonald trying to figure out how come he was the only one in the second row that got eliminated. now gets the up and comings because he like McDonald and Noyes has to go back to the other row where McDonald is to get everybody on the correct Martin Noyes Johnson and McDonald now we'll get race director Bobby Hill up on the front side across the line and takes Johnson down. Then we'll get a red flag. Dana Perry with the start went across the 53Y and took the handlebars right out of Johnson's hands. Stevie Johnson trying to feel himself out. He has suffered a broken back in the past. Stevie Johnson has some pretty has had some pretty serious injuries over the years. All the arms are working. Let's see if we get the toes to going. He's okay, got his wind knocked out. No, I know. He's had a broken. 
still Dana Perry from the top of the racetrack. And we got two, three of them winding up into each other down the back straightaway. Back row will become even more nervous. Can he just call again? No, Mo Brown. No, I know, it was Mo. But he said he went off in that last one. Come on, and Mo got together. It fall. It's all turn around and get back.
In third place, the motors are discussion process a red flag was thrown on lap 14 to complete the race which is a 15 lap main event it would run back to 13 a restart 13 in line restart they'll come back and get a green flag a white flag and a checkered flag if they do it that way subject to discussion Jeremy Chisholm is up he's limping but he's up stay tuned it ain't over yet Boy, he's looking like the old man more. Jeremy was a great job for a few laps. What happened there? He's rookied out. He rookied out, he says. He rookied out. Oh, man, oh, man. You got all the hearts over here and everybody helping out. It's a good job. Front row uh, ran in second spot for quite a while until he got to uh, back to third and then bailed. And I don't think, I don't think he wants to restart either. Dana Perry's lead, which was evaporating quickly because Ronnie Brown was catching him, will now come up for tails. Oh, it's called a race? He called it. Race is over. Dana Perry the winner. I didn't want to sure what was going on, but that's what they want to do. The riders all agree. Everybody's happy with 13 laps in the books, and Dana Perry takes the win. Probably the safest thing we could have done. Although Ronnie Brown probably would have liked to have done that, but we'll have a discussion with Ronnie. So it's going to be Dana Perry the winner, Ronnie Brown in second, and Danny Ritchie in third. So uh, yeah, Dana Perry likes it. Ronnie, I guess the big deal on that thing was that uh, once you got by Jeremy Chisholm, you in fact were catching up to Dana Perry. I don't know whether a couple laps would have made enough of a chance. Dana's a good starter and all that stuff to do it, but second place ain't bad. No, second place isn't bad from some of the trouble I got myself in earlier tonight. Got to take my hats off to Dana. He rode a hell of a race. I had eight or ten laps there to catch him. I really wasn't making all that ground on him. So. Stevie Johnson was trying to apologize, too, for taking you out earlier in the evening. Well, I, I don't blame that on Stevie. I blame that on Ryder Air on the restart there. I had the same chance as everybody else to get the whole shot, and I just blew it a little bit. Well, you, I guess the points are still going the right directions. You're still going to be running up on the front side. Danny Ritchie, a good job for you and staying clear of all the other activities that were going on out there tonight. I tell you what, it was getting a little wild out there. I didn't think we was ever going to get it done. Well, that was one of those things about hanging in there. Yeah, you just got to hang tough on these little short tracks like this and just bide your time and, you know, don't get in a big hurry. Well, you guys from the down in the Paso Robles and, and in all that area, there's a whole bunch of bull rings there. Oh, yeah, the brown cycle riders are just... They're a good bunch of, bunch of guys and good riders, you know. It's just Good job. Congratulations, third place. Thanks. Danny Ritchie on the Brown Cycle entry. Ronnie Brown, the defending champion, gets some more points. And we'll get over here. Dana Perry, Jesus, just like we were at, at uh, Club Moto there last week. Uh, yep. A great start on this Mike Vale Honda. And uh, you were holding them off all the way through it. You did a job all night long. Yeah, everything worked out. I want to thank Mike Vale. And, um... I'm a happy guy. I know you're a happy guy. You like racing? I love racing. Yeah, because you do it uh, whatever you can and whatever you And it's good to see Dad here, your brother Mitch here, and your dad's here. Yeah. All kind of fun stuff. Oh, it's great. In front of all my friends and fans, any ones that I have that are out there, this is the greatest. All yeah. right. How about a hand for all these guys? Dana Perry, Ronnie Brown, and Danny Ritchie. One, two, and three. 
in round number five of Gene Romero's eMall.com main event. Oh, you want one more? I'd like to also thank Riddle Racing. This guy here, Bud, right here. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. And, he's, and Bud says he's very happy. Good job on pre preparation on that thing. It ran like a clock like it did last week when we were at the, at the old Club Moto. So uh, here we get the club pictures together for the guys who were top three. We want to thank everybody for coming tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, on your way home, low and slow. We appreciate you. Uh, we'll put this on the internet web like we're acting like we're doing something right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you very Great. much. And the bar's open.